Don't break that, it's fragile. Dear Tim and Moby, how do I measure the volume of prisms? From Marta. Three-dimensional shapes like prisms can seem tricky to measure. And hard to draw. Not that difficult, really. Well, measuring the volume, anyway. A prism is a solid with two parallel congruent bases. Their sides are parallelograms, and we name prisms by the shapes of their bases. Let's start with a regular rectangular prism, also known as a cube. This cube has sides that are 10 centimeters long. Now, the formula for finding the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. Our base is a square, and the area of a square can be found by multiplying the length times the width. That's 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, and that's 100 centimeters squared. Now we multiply the area of the base times the height of the prism and get 1,000 centimeters cubed, or 1,000 cubic centimeters. Easy enough? The same formula, area of the base times height, will work with other rectangular prisms too. They're just not as easy as a 10 centimeter cube. Let's try a triangular prism. The formula for calculating the volume is the same, area of the base times the height. So first we find the area of the base. Hey Moby, do you remember the formula for a triangle's area? Right, one half of the base times the height. This triangle has a base of 8 centimeters, and the height is 6 centimeters. So, one half of the base is 4 centimeters times 6 equals 24 square centimeters. Now the height of our prism is 10 centimeters. The area of our base times the height is 240 cubic centimeters. That's the volume. This formula works with prisms with bases of any shape. You just have to use the proper formula to find the area of that base and then multiply that by the prism's height. There we are. The volume of prisms. Stop that, you're gonna break them. Well, at least one of them didn't break. Welcome to our video on volume. Um, today you'll be watching the video on volume to get ready for our upcoming lesson. Uh, first off, volume is the amount of space um, an object takes up or how much you can fill up an object with uh, unit cubes. For instance, here we have a rectangular prism with a length of 6 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 4 inches. And we need to figure out what is the volume of our rectangular prism. So we're trying to figure out how many 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cubes can fit inside this rectangular prism. We're going to start off by using the formula for volume of volume equals base times height. So we need to find the base of our rectangular prism. Well, the word base is just a fancy word for saying the area of base. And so if you look at our rectangular prism, we have a length of 6 and a width of 4. And area is just length times width. So our base for this problem is just 6 times 4, which is 24. Now we need to multiply that by our height. Our height for this problem is 4 inches. Right here, 4 inches. So we need to take 24 times 4. 24 times 4 is 96. So our volume for this rectangular prism is 96 inches cubed. Basically what it's saying is 96 of these little blue cubes can fit inside this rectangular prism. We basically took the area of the base, which is 24, and if you count these individually, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 cubes on the bottom layer, and we can actually make four of these layers. That's why we took 24 times 4 to find the volume of this rectangular prism. There's more than one way to find volume, though. You can also find volume by taking the length times width times height. So you can also take your length times your width times your height, which is exactly the same thing, but without trying to find the area of the base in particular. So here we have a rectangular prism with a length of 2 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 3 inches. So all we have to do is replace our length with 2, our width with 4, and our height 
with 3 and multiply these three dimensions together. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. So our volume of our rectangular prism is 24 inches cubed. Either formula will work to find volume. It just depends on what they give you and what is easier for you at the time. Remember, volume is the amount of space an object takes up, and it can easily be found by using the formula length times width times height or the formula base times height, where your base is the area of your base. Yeah, we're going to further investigate the volume of, of rectangular prisms. This rectangular prism is made up of um, one inch by one inch by one inch cubed, so this has a volume of one uh, inch cubed. And on this rectangular prism, we have a length of four, one, two, three, four, a width of two, and a height of one, two, three. Um, we're going to use the formula volume equals base times height in this video, where our base is our area of our base. So our base of our rectangular prism is the bottom layer, and as you can see, it's four by two. So this has an area of eight, and we have three layers. So our height is three, one, two, three. Basically, you can take the area of the base, multiply by one, two, three, because our height is three, and you'll get the total volume, which in this case is 24 inches cubed. So that means 24 cubes make up this rectangular prism. You can always use the area of the base times the height to find the volume of rectangular prisms. Thank you for watching my video on volume.